There's only one, there's only one Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my mini twists. And this is the hair that I'm going to use for today's style, the pre-fluffed pop and twist in a 20 inch. And I'm using the color 1B. So I'm going to part my hair into like four or five sections just to give it my, just to give myself some like order when I'm putting the twist in my hair. So I'm doing middle part down and then just doing a few sections in the back. But however you part it, it doesn't really matter. The hair comes out the same. Just do whatever works best for you. And I part it with no mirror. I'm moving off of faith because that's how we do it out here. So I'm cutting the hair in half. Each bundle, I'm cutting it in half. I'm not using it as a full 20 inch because I want a shorter look to give me kind of like that bob look. So even though I cut it in half when I first started I realized the half was a little too long so then I cut off like an extra inch and a half to give me a shorter look so like I said it can go for more of a bob style so I'm using small sections you can see the type they're kind of like small to medium not too big not too small and then I'm just parting the hair like the hair comes in little sections already and then I'm splitting those sections in half so for the back, that's really how I use like my sizing to make sure they're all the same size. Just use a pre-parted um, bundle and just use that to split it in half. So I don't really know how to explain how I do my like braids like this. I just kind of wrap the hair around my hair and then I use the two legs of the weaving hair and the third leg of my hair to use that as a braid. And then I'll braid down for a little while. And then after like braid five or six, I'll split my hair in half and use it to add it to the other two parts and then I will begin twisting. It does sound complicated, but it does get a little easier after a while, after you do it for a few times. It really is trial and error. Everyone does it differently, but this is the way that works best for myself. And then I just use one of these clips because when you're twisting your hair, it does twist a lot at the roots and it, be it can become very tight. So I just use um, those clips to help make sure that I'm not gonna pop my hair off. <laughs> and then towards the end of my hair, I'll use a lot of body mousse. You can use any mousse that you want, just to make sure the ends are nice and fluffy. And then I'll use my hands to kind of twist in between my hands to make sure that the twist comes together nicely. So this is what it looks like. These twists kind of have a mind of their own. They're, they're gonna sit whichever way they want to, but after a while, they're kind of find their place so it won't look too crazy. So I'm gonna just be doing the same thing over and over. And as you can see, I'm brushing out the hair before I apply it and I'm adding water to it because I feel like it gives it a more realistic look and I feel like it helps it to become a little fluffier and not so stiff. So that's what gives me like the really juicy look towards the end that you'll see. But in the beginning, they look really like kind of firm, but they kind of juice up after a while. So for this piece, I'm gonna um, not speed it up. I wanna do it in real time so you can see how long it takes me to do each section. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, this hairstyle took me a very long time to do. You're gonna see what time I finish doing it in the morning towards the end. But yeah, I'm just doing the same thing, braiding down like five or six times, and then I'm splitting it into a twist. All right, y'all, so here I am parting in the back with no type of mirror, just going off of straight faith and vibes. My parts were okay, but I definitely would suggest that you use a mirror, especially if you plan on doing like half up, half down styles or pigtail styles. So this is um, how I'm parting the hair. They come in like, kind of like sectioned off a little bit already, and then I just part them um, in two or I split them in two. And that's something that I really like about this hair because Something I don't like about Canicolon hair, that's like the straight hair, is that it doesn't come in any type of sections. So I'm always insecure that all my braids and twists are gonna be different sizes. But for this one, it's much simpler because I'm just splitting it in half. So that's something, that's a plus to this hair that it's kinda not pre-parted, but it's kinda sections off already. And then you just kinda go from there. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing, just twisting down, adding mousse to the ends, and just brushing through to make sure that it's nice and fluffy, and then cutting off any excess hair to make sure it's not frizzy towards the end. 
Okay, but can we look at the progress though? It looks so good, it looks so juicy. Like I said, like when you first do them, they're kind of stiff, but then they start to like juice up and shrink up a little bit. I think it looks so good. And let's shout out the parting. Like even though I have no mirror, the parts look pretty good for someone who did, couldn't see what they were doing. So this is the first back half, which took me, <laughs> it took me such a long time, you guys, but we're just gonna keep on pushing. All right, so for the front, it's not much different. I do want to show you guys, though, how I do my roots to keep them nice and flat and, like, look really tight and professional. I put edge control on the roots so that there's no flyaways and it just looks really, like, you know, snatched. And the only, only thing I do different in the front is that I split the hair into three sections instead of splitting it in half. So at this point, you can see my eyes starting to get red. I'm getting a little loopy. Shout out to my husband for staying up with me. And my cousin was staying with us, so he popped in. That's, hey, Camilla, everyone say hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's all I do differently in the front. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but the twists in the front are much smaller than the twists in the back. And I did that intentionally, only to save time. Um, the twists in the back are still pretty, you know, a pretty decent size, but I knew I wanted to go smaller in the front. So for the front, if you're gonna go smaller, just make sure you section the hair into three instead of into two. So now I'm doing my victory dance because I'm on my last little section. Um, like I said, I'm just doing the same thing. So on top of my head though, I do braid a little bit differently. So I'll braid kind of like on top of my head and I'll be making sure to use uh, my fingers to press down on my roots to make sure that the hair doesn't slide while I'm braiding. So as you can see, I'm using like my ring finger or my middle finger to press down on the, my scalp while I'm braiding to make sure it stays put. And then when I split my hair into two for the twist, then I can like do it on the side of my hair and let it go free. All right, y'all, I'm on my last twist. We're gonna praise the Lord because this took so long. But as you can see, the hair is looking good and it's nice and stretched and long and juicy. You're gonna see what it looks like in a few days in a little bit. But the last thing that I'm gonna do now is just add some mousse to my hair. I'm gonna put it on the roots and I'm gonna put it on the tips. Not really sure if you're supposed to do this, but I just felt like it would really help to snatch my hair and take, take care of those flyaways. So I'm just putting on my scarf so I can set it for the night. And I'm gonna show you guys what time I finished. I finished doing this hairstyle at 4.37 in the morning, okay? It took me a very long time to do this. I started in the daytime the previous day. But here's my hair four days later. It looks so good. I don't know if you can tell, but it has shrunk up a little bit, but that's just made it even juicier than it was before. So the twists are nice and juicy. I have a nice short bob cut length. Look at the girl. It looks exactly like how my bob looked before, but it's just mini twist this time. So I'm gonna do a close up so you can see how juicy the curls look. And now I'm gonna talk to you guys in real life and end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Y'all, I don't know about you, but this one might be a fan favorite. It's definitely, it's giving favorite for me. So um, I like how I did them short so it gives more of like a realistic look. Even though if like you really know me, then you know this is not my hair because my hair is real short. But I'm feeling like the short bobbish kind of like cut. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. One question I will answer from now because I know a lot of people are gonna ask if my hair is poking through. And low key, it's poking through a little bit in certain sections. Um, I don't know, like here it is again. I don't really know how to help that, but I don't think you can really tell unless you're like looking super close. Like here's my hair close up. You really can't tell. At least I can't tell. So yeah, you guys, this is my little hairstyle. I'll probably have it in for a few weeks. We'll see how long I can keep these in. And yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. There's only one. There's only one.